Oh, there's a big bird. I cannot get any closer. Nala will go after it. It's right there. Do you see it? Hi guys, Anne here and today, well right now we have a car vlog and then later on we are going to be going to the trails. I'm gonna have Nala with me. But right now it's early in the morning. Yes it is. <laughs> very early and I'm on my way to shot right because my kids are so spoiled so my you know I always go to Wawa and get my get Tyler my oldest son uh, these double Dutch chocolate milks and somebody had asked me do they come in a bigger size now they only come in that small little thing you can only get them at Wawa anywho so then he was into these pepperoni melts that you could buy at uh, Wawa but they're like five dollars and something I think and he was getting one like every day like every morning and I'm like I can make them so like I looked online how to make Wawa pepperoni melts. You can look it up. It's on there. And it's just a bagel, provolone cheese, and bacon. I mean not bacon, uh, pepperoni. And that's it. You know, so you you toast the bagel first and then you put the uh, uh, four pieces of provolone cheese, like two on one half, two on the other, and then put like uh, four or five pieces of pepperoni depending on how big that you know it is and then you close it and then you put it in the air fryer and let it melt and that's basically all you do so I've been doing that and we ran out of we have three bagels left so I need to get more bagels and then the provolone cheese and um, the pepperoni and this is why I said why I love my kids so much because I don't mess around with pork. I don't eat pork, okay? I don't make pork chops. I don't make anything that has to do with pork. I don't eat ribs. I mean, unless it's beef ribs or something like that. But like, I just don't. But I do cook it for my children and stuff, you know? I don't eat ham. Um, so, my kids are very spoiled. So anyway, I'm up early to go get that so you know he can have his um morning pepperoni melt God, the things i do for my children but i don't mind because it's going to be a time where my son is going i mean he's 27 he's going to you know he talks to different girls but there's going to be a time where he's going to be in a serious relationship because my son you know he's he's a ladies man you know um that I'm not going to do it. He's going to have a wife or a girlfriend or whatever to do these things for him. Or, you know, he'll move in with her or they'll get a house together. Whatever the case may be. He'll start having children. You know, so I cherish these moments because I know it's not going to last, you know. Like Lexi. Lexi is 22. She'll be 23 in July. And now she's finally got this, like, serious boyfriend. Like, she gets home from work, takes a shower, goes over there. Sometimes she'll spend the night, you know, now like today she's off and like she's over there, you know, like I never see her, you know, Isaiah, he's 18, he'll be 19 in July as well. Um, so he doesn't really have a serious girlfriend right now, but you know, like I, I know my time is very short with my children, you know, and, um, it really showed me after I'm doing this, I mean, you could tell it's early. I forgot to, I don't even have my earrings in, um, because you know, my kids never told me they hated me. They were never mean to me. They would never, ever let me see, watch me struggle or anything like that. And I don't know how some women, they choose their kids. I mean, they choose a man over their kids. I don't know. Because what I'm learning, like, I am so glad. Like, you know, I, I, I said before, my husband and my son got into an altercation and, you know, it, it got serious, okay? And, of course, I'm going to choose my son. You egged my child on for so long. He hears how you talk to his mother. He goes by all the time while you're in the dining room playing your stupid video game. He hears me say I'm struggling. These bills need to be paid. While my son is the one giving me money to help with bills and you're not doing anything. You know, you just... It, 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 you know, you, you, it gets to be up here, you know, and it, there was a fallout and a lot of emotions and different things. And of course, I'm going to choose my son. Why would I choose a man that don't help me? I understand he's my husband, but he doesn't help me where my kids do. My kids will always be there, you know? And, um, I mean, what would I do? Choose my husband, kick my son out, 
and then still have my husband who don't help me with bills or anything yeah but anyway my point is now i understand like now if you have a good marriage and and you have a, a husband that's helping taking care of the bills and supporting you and stuff and then your kids are older and then there's tension that's a little different right but i don't know so anyway <laughs> I got onto that kind of rant. I don't know why. Uh, I'm going to get off of that. Um, so that's what we're doing this morning. So just getting that stuff and just a few other little things. Because I don't need to go grocery shopping. And then I got to do, do a little bit of yard work. I've been doing my weed whacking. I love that weed whacker. It's a stress relief. Yes, it is. But, um... And then um, I'm going to take Nala to the nature trails and we're going to do walking so i'll put that in here as well wow it's busy for this early in the morning i guess everybody thinks like oh i forgot to put the bags in the trunk damn it well i'm only getting a few things anyway but maybe there's there might be one hopefully there's one bag in this trunk i hope I'll tell you what, you go to the stores early in the morning, you will always find like elderly people. Like they don't play. They get up, they do their shopping, they get everything done in the morning and they're done their chores. Do you know what I mean? You'll see them early in the morning uh, mowing the lawn, uh, uh, do whatever they're doing and they get the shit done. No, it's these new like younger generation that like takes forever, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. <laughs> they want to go to the stores and stuff, you know? All right, so let me go in here and um, I'll be back. Okay, so I brought one bag in because I think that's all that I had in the car. Wow. So I, ha I have to see if I can find another bag because I'll show you what I got. Who did I park in? Did I park in this one or the other one? I don't know. Anywho, I spent, I think, close to 200 I got a roast because I'm like, oh, that looks good. $27 for the small ass roast. I can't get over that. I, I know I say it sounds like a broken record, but my goodness. Anywho, all right. Let me get to the car and then I will show you what I got. So this is what I got. I got some like cold cuts and turkey and cheese and then the other stuff for the melts. And I got this for the children and some juice, milk. That's really it. And then I have like meat down here, like steak and all that. And of course my bananas. I should have got me a watermelon, but all right, let me put this stuff away. All right, I don't want to make this part too long because like I said, I'm on my way home. Um, like I said, it's early, it's 73 out already. So I'm happy about that. I think it's supposed to go up to like 78 or maybe 80. Um, and so, yeah, I'm gonna go put this stuff away, do a little yard work and then um, take Nala on the trails. So that will be the next clip. All right, I'll be back. Hi guys, so this is the next day. I did a small clip uh, when I in the morning when I was going to ShopRite to get um, Tyler his stuff for his pepperoni melt. And uh, come on, Ollie. And then I said, you know what? Let me do some yard work because it was finally nice out. It was like in the 70s. Look at Nala. We have, she hasn't been to the nature trail in what, a couple months? So, I mean, I take her for walks and stuff, but not here. So now she has to sniff everything. And um, anyway, I'm like, let me just go ahead and do some yard work. It was really nice because, you know, it's been raining in Jersey and stuff. And it became to like five hours where I was like literally picking up the weeds and then using the weed whacker and then going all the way behind the house, like back in the house where like the cars, we parked the cars and I just started doing all this other stuff. And, um, <laughs> she's pee. she peed like five times in different spots showing her territory. Anyway, um, let me switch arms. And, uh, I was like, what? I got a little sunburn. I like everything hurt. Oh, she's pooping. Hold on a second. Let me, uh, cause I got to clean it up. I'll be right back. Okay. So, um, 
I was hurt and I didn't realize like how long I was out there, you know? And then like I felt my sugar dropping a little bit. So then I made a sandwich, but <laughs> oh my gosh. And let's be real, since the fire and stuff, everything got ruined. And so we had like one of those manual push lawn mowers where my husband did all that stuff when he lived there. And I mean, he's a strong guy, so he could do it. And so we didn't have anything. So I had to, cause I can't do it. I had to um, order uh, a lawn mower, which came today. I already did the weed whacking and my boys can do it, but like, you know, whenever they're home, you know, and I enjoy doing stuff like that sometimes. It all depends. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I don't like picking stuff up and all that other kind of stuff. And then we have like hedges, right? All the way alongside of our house. And we just have like that manual cutter thingy. So that took a time. So then I went and bought a hedger. <laughs> and uh, you know, like the electric hedger. And that will be here in a couple days. Cause I'm like, I can't do this, you know? Um, and I just felt like doing it. I mean, like I said, my boys would do it when they have off and stuff, but I just felt like doing it. Make a long story short. I was hurting so bad last night that even my fingertips were hurting where I was like pulling weeds and stuff. But I'm looking at, I'm getting a new uh, fence for the backyard. Cause right now we have like a four foot, but the city that I live in is starting it. The bill hasn't passed yet, but they're talking about it. The type of dog you have, like a pit bull, which I have, or like if you have a German Shepherd, Rockwaller, anything like that, you're gonna have to start getting six feet, a six foot fence. So I need to get a new one anyway, because the one we have is wood and it's like 25 years old. It's like getting dry rotted and stuff. And I'm like, well, I, need, I might as well get the six foot one so I don't get another four and a half feet one and then they said, nope, you gotta have six foot. So I'm looking into that. That's why I was like cutting all around. But TMI, here's the issue that I have for this backyard, what I'm scared of. So my grandmother moved into that house in 1979. And we had a lot of animals growing up. And then like my aunts and different things, they all had, I'm just scared she's gonna sniff something that she's allergic to. Um. I'm sure she smells like the deers and the pig and other dogs and stuff. But anywho, uh, so they would always bury their, their animals. Like we have bunnies buried back there. Uh, we have, cause my mom used to have a bunny named Bunny. Uh, I don't know how many cats, dogs. Uh, my grandmother used to have like a German Shepherd named Sinner. Uh, Doberman Pinchers. Um, like I said, cats, hamsters, everything. And I think when me and my mom were talking before she died, there were like 18 animals buried in the backyard. <laughs> now, a lot of them have markers that you know, but I'm like, I don't want to dig up something. You know, I just don't know where everything is. If my mom was alive, she'd be able to tell you which animal, their name and everything. And that's scattered through the whole yard, all the way back towards the end. But, uh, <laughs> so it like scares me, you know? All right. Uh. Let me turn you around. We're almost at the part where we turn where Nala goes to the picnic table and gets her water. So let's see if she remembers. So let's turn you around. Okay, there's Nala. And right up here, we would have to make a right. So let's see if she remembers. Look at her tail. <laughs> Just a waggling. Wagon, waggling, how do you say it? Let's see if she remembers. Cause I'm not, Say. She's confused because I stopped, so she stops. Come on, let's, let's go. Oh, now you can either go here or go straight, but you have to turn here to go to the picnic table. Boy, you can tell it's really been raining here. Look at this. Look how high their grass is and stuff. Okay, here is the famous picnic table. So let's get set up and let me get her water. Say hey, Nally. And, uh, I'll be back. Let's get your thing. This is her little, I put her water in. Okay, hold on. Watch, she won't even drink it. Usually when I get it all ready, she doesn't drink it. Hey, baby. I drink it. It's supposed to be like eight, 85 today. So right now it's about 82 out. So it's pretty warm. I knew she wasn't going to drink it all. Here you go. Baby, here. I knew it. And then I just hang it like on my book bag here. All right. This bag, 
it's heavy because it has all her stuff. I have a bag of treats in here. I have a bag like of dog food in there. Come on. Um, I have so much stuff in here and a lot of, like I said, it's her stuff. You know what? I'm going to turn around. I, this is the route I usually take when I have Nala, but I'm going to turn around and make a right here to where the, um, the mansion was. The only thing is I know when I go, come on, when I go this way, I know there's not a lot of people because if you're new to my channel, Nala's a six year, six year old pit. She's 75% pit, 25% German shepherd. And I never socialized her. I wanted people to be scared when they came to my house and I wanted her to be protective. Let me switch arms. And now I made a big mistake because if I want to take her walking or anything like that, if people came around, she would. She was very aggressive. And forget having around another dog. I've never seen her go, I, I mean, she'll get a little like growling and stuff around kids, but she's never attacked a kid. Like aggressive, like tried to go after. Her. Uh, so uh, that's why I've been taking her to these nature trails and different things to socialize her. But if there's another dog, she gets, I have to take her in the side. That's why I still have like a choker on her because I do have carpal tunnel and I'm scared if she was to, if she's seen a deer or anything like that, she would pull away. I wouldn't be able to hold her. Um, but she's so used to it and it's not choking her or anything like that. But I have to do it for safety measures because if she does get law, get out of my hand and she bites somebody, that's my fault. And in the state of New Jersey, they'll put her down right away. Even if she didn't break the skin because she's a pit bull. So I just have to do that for everybody's safety. And then I don't want her seeing a deer and run and then I can't find her, you know? I need to buy one of those trackers that they have that, that you can have an app and put on your phone. That way if she does get lost, I can find her, you know? But my point is she's getting a lot more sociable. Um, if somebody comes around, I just pull over a little bit and she's fine. We just sit there and wait. I still don't have anybody come and pet her or anything like that, but she's getting a lot better. So this is the first time I'm going to take her by the mansion and stuff, because like I said, there's, there's typically more people over here and I usually take her where there's not a lot of people. So this will be the first time. And then it's also hard, too, because I'm holding the selfie stick. I have Nala. If I wasn't vlogging, it'd be totally different. Like, if it was really busy, um, I just wouldn't vlog, of course, because, you know, Nala comes first. Absolutely. So that's what we're doing. Here's the mansion. Do you remember I never could find the mansion? And all I had to do was just keep going straight. <laughs> And it's right here on the right. But I used to always do that turn and all that kind of stuff. And uh, there's the mansion. Let's see if I can fix this where you guys can say it. Let's say, see? Well, I'll turn you around. So there's the mansion right there. Um, this was very, oh, no, I don't want to make tricky. This was a very popular World War II where the soldiers would come and get their meals and stuff. It just seems like it's zoomed in. Hold on. Yeah. So there we go. See the big keep out sign? Boy, they need to really come and cut this grass and stuff. But, um, so that's what's left of the mansion. Of course, it was a lot bigger than that, but it caught fire in the 1980s. So, now look. That's Nala. She's shedding. This is where, remember back right here? That's her hot spot. It's, it seems to be, um, since I've been giving her Benadryl, well, actually Zyrtec. You can still see a little spot right there. It's actually been doing a lot better. I still have not found, uh, when I first, I'll see if I can link the video. I'm fixing the selfie, sorry. When I first came here, oh, there's a big bird big turkey. Let me see if I can zoom in. I cannot get any closer. Nala will go after it. It's right there. Do you see it? Looks like it's a hawk. Oh, it's a hawk looking for prey. Okay. Um, I'm going to just keep on walking. But if I have to put the phone, I have to throw the phone down. If Let me put Nala on my left hand. Yeah, it's walking deep in the woods, but has no fear of me 
or Nala, so it's definitely hunting. I just lost everything that, oh, Nala. Um, so she's doing better with her allergies and stuff. Oh, there's somebody behind me. Hold on, guys. All right, I got somebody behind me, so I'm gonna put the camera towards me. That way I keep an eye on the guy, so if he gets past me or something like that with Nala. But, um, yeah. The, you know what? I probably should have vlogged, like, when I took Nala back out the second time, because since this is the first time, she's like, ooh, you know, smelling everything. when I mean, she's a dog. She's doing what dogs do. Now, I don't know to go straight or make a left. I think I'm going to... If I go straight, that takes me to the water. So let's make a left. Oh, that's what I was saying. When I first came, I found an abandoned boat and it had like the serial number on it. And when you looked it up, that was an abandoned boat from the 1940s. So probably World War II. Um, I hear kids. Okay, let me... Um, I gotta turn you guys off while I go past. There's a family here. Okay, they are waiting over there. They're just standing there while they're looking at something. But let me turn you around and show you what I'm spotting. I'm scared to take Nala down by that water. Okay, she jumps in. All right, let me show you. Okay, the other guy's not behind me. Let me see how I'm always so scared <laughs> with Nala. And that's what I'm saying. That's where I told you, I don't know if that was a school at one time or a church or what have you. Every time I come, there's always different, let me zoom you in, like stones and different things piled up there. So I don't know what they're doing, but right here is the water and that's the dock. This is the picnic table and the family's like over there somewhere. So I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Um, <laughs> sign says no campfires. But tell me, this view isn't beautiful. I would imagine having a house and just being at this picnic table and looking at the view. I mean, look at the dock. There's the dock. Look at Nala. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go this way. I think the coast is clear for now. I don't know, I just worry. I, I don't think Nala would bite anybody. I really don't. I, I, I like go after, like run from me and go after. Now a deer or something like that, or if she's seen an animal running, uh, yes. Or if a dog was coming, getting uh, vicious, yes. But a regular person, no, I don't think so. But I still always worry. And because of her breed, it does not help me. As soon as somebody hears the word pit bull, you know. And it's all how you raise them, you know? It's it's not, I mean, it's the breed, right? But, it, you know, that they, humans use pit bulls for fighting. They use German shepherds and different things for fighting. And so it's, it's a human thing why they get the rap. It's not them. You know, you train your dog, right? Your dog's good. I did put some spray on me and Nala. I have organic spray I uh, put on Nala for ticks. Let me know down below, is there a certain spray that you put on for dogs? Like, is there something? Okay, this is that steep ass steps. I hear people. And let me show you how Nala helps me. Oh, usually she goes down to the side. She's taking her time. And a lot of times, like, going up steep things, she'll, like, run up so that to help me go up. But see how she doesn't pull me? Okay, there's people over there, so I'm just going to wait. Okay. And she's very good with walking. She does not pull me. I remember the first few times we took Nala, we would both come home and take naps. Okay, we are on the blue trail for Tag's wagon, so that's good. I have to 
see like if there's certain times I would love to take Nala to, at the beach but I have to see if there's certain times that you can take your animals to the beach yeah the people's up there so I'm gonna go slow all right, so I'm gonna get off of here for a little bit and um, get her to where there's nobody around. That way I feel safe vlogging because I really wanna keep an eye on people and her. And um, I'll be back. I am sweating. Okay, I'll be back. Really uh, quickly, I wanna show you how she helps me with these hills. Go ahead, go, go, run, run, go. See how she goes fast? And she helps me get up there. And then, oh, that's so pretty. Okay, come on. Slow. Good girl. Okay, guys. Well, I don't see anybody. I guess I'm okay. You see how she's huffing and puffing, but when I do give her water, she won't drink it. <laughs> you know? Oh, that's steep. Ah, get. It's too steep. I hope I don't get lost. Tail. I want to start taking the puppy, but you walk the puppy for five, ten minutes. Then she, what she does, she stands still, and she doesn't want to move. So I, once I get used to her walking on a leash and stuff, I'll start taking the puppy with me as well. You know, because I can't carry her if we get in the woods, and then she decides she don't want to walk. Um. Okay. So there's steep steps up there, but I don't know. I think we're gonna go straight. Those are those steps. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna go straight. <laughs> Look at all these trees that fell from just uh well I don't know because this is like a very clean cut. That had to be sawed. It had to. Or like something like that. Let me show you. You can see fell. This is too much of a clean, but um Wow, look at all back there. Can you imagine? Unless it just fell off. That's a branch that fell up on a, off of a tree high up. It cut off. We are still on the blue trail. Tomorrow is 90% going to rain again. So... Figured I'd take her today. Oh, I hear the people again. They're close up. All right, like I said, when I can find an area, um, I'll start like vlogging and stuff again. I'm gonna see if she'll try to drink something too. I'll be back. I wish you guys, I should go live one day. Well, when I don't, oh my goodness, look how steep that is. I don't know what you guys can see. Right up there. Um. I, I, of course, I wouldn't be able to have Nala or anything with me, but that would be nice. Like, I think I always say that, but I think next time I'm going to do that, try to go live and you guys can like walk with me and stuff. I can talk to you guys. All right, guys, I'll be back. So this is where we're at. She always goes around the side. <laughs> okay. Run, Nala, run, run. Good. Thank you. Good girl. She's tired. She ain't running too much. Good. Thank you, Nala. Whew. I feel you. I'm only going to start walking a little bit longer and then I'm going to um, take her back to the park. I mean, to the parking lot. I don't want to keep her out too long. I can keep going, but I worry about her. But I'm at that spot again. Where? Let me show you. Perfect. This is perfect. Right here. So... If I go this way, stay on the blue trail, and then make a right, that takes you to the parking lot. Now, if I wanted to keep going, I could, but I'm definitely going to get on my way and take her home. You know what, let me take a little thumbnail real quick. Hold on. Okay, so now we are walking. We gotta make a right here. We kept going straight. That is where the um, picnic table is. I'll get her to drink when we get in the car. I know if I get her something to drink, she won't drink it. Come on. See the sign right here? It says parking. 
there. Okay, so now we have shades. The trees are all here. Ah, oh, I think we are walking maybe about 40 minutes. Look how red my face is. You know what I want to think I want to start doing when I vlog? It's like, do you ever watch some vloggers where they put the tripod down like a head and then you see them walk, then they pick it up, you know what I mean? Where you see the whole body and stuff. I think I want to start doing that, but I am glad I took Nala out for a walk. I know she'll go and go to sleep. I am making pot roast. I have it right in the crock pot. Do you guys use, so growing up when my mom used to make pot roast, she used to have, of course, like the carrots and all that. And then she used to cut up potatoes and all that and put in there. I don't put the potatoes in there. I make mashed potatoes. And then sometimes my mom would put potatoes in there and mashed potatoes. But I like having the pot roast and the carrots and the gravy and put it on top of the mashed potatoes. Let me know how you guys do. And then I always make like some type of dinner roll, you know. But let me know how you guys do it. Do you put the potatoes in like the roast or do you make mashed potatoes? I'm just curious how you guys make it. And I bet it was $27 for a little thing of roast. Holy crap. But that'll last us a couple days because... Lexi doesn't really eat at home too much. She's always over her boyfriend's uh, after work and stuff. And then Isaiah works 2 to 11. He gets home about 11.30. And a lot of times he's not hungry because he already eats and he's tired. So he gets home, he goes home and uh, gets in the shower. Sometimes he's hungry. I mean, I still make his plate, of course, but usually he'll eat at like 3 in the morning. Um, and Tyler, he's always like, Mom... Don't just cook for me, but still I feel bad when I cook, but like, it'll last a few days, so that's good, because what's today? Friday when I'm filming? So then I won't have to cook again, and Sundays I always make like a really big dinner. I'm, I've done that for years, you know? So, it's so pretty out here, it really is. I am going to go home and get in the Well, I might cut the grass. I got that lawnmower in today, but it's the kind that's like battery. So you power it up. I don't know how long if it takes, at least 12 hours maybe. And then the charge lasts for 45 minutes where I don't have that big uh, yard, you know, the front and the back. It won't take me 45 minutes. So I might do that because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So maybe I'll just get that over with and then get in the shower. I don't know. My mind is always thinking. I am an overthinker and I've always been that way. And it's like, so now I don't have any pre-recorded videos for my for my other channel. And it's like, oh, I won't have a video go up tonight. And, and then I stress, it's so stupid. I don't know why, because I know you guys can care less. <laughs> stupid. All right, the parking lot's right ahead. And usually there's people over there. And um, so I wanna keep an eye and I want her to get her in the car and stuff. So please like this video. It really does help me out. Like this video if you like seeing Nala with me or the dogs with me. Let me know the more likes I get. And I know you guys are enjoying it and I will keep bringing them with me as much as I can. Or you could dislike the video that helps me out as well. Make sure you leave a comment. I tell you all the time, commenting really does help out with engagement. And I know I gotta get better at commenting back to you guys. I promise you, I definitely will. Keep reading me the filth in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's everything. All right, guys, stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy. And most importantly, always stay you. Never let anybody change your character. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Nala's pulling me. She's like, get me in this damn car. <laughs> Let's, get tired. Let's go. Now she's pulling me. She's like... All right, I know I'm getting in the car. All right, bye guys.